the following chapters, we will be looking at the Carmichael model extensions. In particular, we will be looking at the various supported interfaces and the different ways to extend the Carmichael environment. Let's start by looking at Carmichael for Simulink. Carmichael for Simulink is a co-simulation between Carmichael and Simulink. There are a few advantages of using Carmichael for Simulink. No compilation is required for model changes and the changes become directly active for every simulation start. And the user benefits from using the graphical modeling environment in Simulink and the powerful simulation capabilities of CarMaker. There are however a few drawbacks with this approach of using CarMaker for Simulink. The main drawback is the loss in performance due to the computationally intensive nature of this co-simulation. And the other drawback is that the co-simulation cannot be used for hardware in the loop applications. Now let us look at how to get started with CarMaker for Simulink. The first step to get started working with CarMaker for Simulink is to open a suitable MATLAB version. You can find more information about compatible MATLAB versions in the CarMaker release notes. Once you have navigated into your CarMaker project folder, you will find a source underscore CarMaker for Simulink subfolder. Navigate into the folder and run the CarMaker environment script as the first step. This ensures that all the CarMaker installation paths and dependencies necessary for working with Kameka for Simulink are added. After executing the Kameka environment script, you can now start working with Kameka for Simulink by opening the generic.mdl. The generic.mdl is a template model which is provided in every Kameka project folder. Once you have opened the generic.mdl model, you will note that it contains three main blocks. The block on the left allows you to edit the model configuration, for example, to provide special command line options to the CarMaker's virtual vehicle environment. The block in the center contains the various CarMaker subsystem blocks. The block in the right allows you to open the CarMaker for Simulink GUI. Double click on the block on the right to open the CarMaker for Simulink GUI. Note how the CarMaker for Simulink GUI looks quite the same compared to the regular CarMaker GUI. You can use the familiar options like starting IPG Movie, IPG Control and Instruments. Let me start IPG Movie for example. You can also start test run simulations by loading from examples or from your own project. Let me start the simulation of Racetrack Hockenheim. Note how the environment looks quite the same compared to the regular car maker simulation. The important difference is however that car maker is a slave in this particular co-simulation and Simulink is the master of the co-simulation. And you can also observe how you see the time of the simulation being displayed at the bottom pane of the Simulink window. It is essential to note a few important properties of the CarMaker block in the CarMaker for Simulink environment. The CarMaker block is the one located in the center and it is executed always with a fixed step size of 1 millisecond independent of the rest of the model. The CarMaker block typically contains by default a chain of individual blocks. When Simulink executes CarMaker, all blocks of this CarMaker blockchain must be executed in order and exactly once. This is why it is important to know that replacing existing CarMaker functionality with additional Simulink blocks can be done 
either by overriding existing signals or by adding blocks from the CarMaker for Simulink block set. It should however not be done by replacing, removing or reordering the CarMaker blocks. Another important point to note is the presence of the sync in and the sync out ports. These ports guarantee a proper order of execution of the CarMaker blocks. They allow you to choose exactly when a CarMaker dictionary variable is accessed when using the various blocks from the CarMaker for Simulink block set. You can now access the various blocks from the CarMaker for Simulink block set by navigating to the Simulink library browser. Under the Simulink library browser, select the CarMaker for Simulink block set to obtain a view of the various blocks which are available under this block set. You can obtain a short description of each of the block by placing the mouse cursor on top of the block. Some of the important blocks include read cm dict which allows you to read a quantity from the carmaker's data dictionary. The define cm dict for example allows you to define a new quantity in the carmaker's data dictionary. This also allows you to define a quantity with a certain data type and unit. In order to write a quantity, you can use the write cm dict block. Make sure to note that not all quantities in the carmaker's data dictionary can be overwritten. You can also access the parameters of the carmaker's info file in the Simulink environment and this can be done by using the read cm parameter block. Let me now demonstrate with the help of a quick example how you can include your own algorithm and blocks into the CarMaker for Simulink environment. If you would like to implement a simple driver assistance algorithm, for example, you can choose the vehicle control block. Inside the vehicle control block, you have access to the signals which are used for controlling the vehicle. This includes, for example, the gas, the steering angle, steering angular velocity and so on. In this case, I am interested to implement an algorithm which automatically activates the turn indicators depending on the steering wheel angle. By using a simple algorithm of comparing the steering wheel angle with the threshold, the left or the right turn indicator is activated. Make sure to terminate the internal indicator signals which are available in CarMaker. Let's now look at the outcome of the simulation. Observe how the turn indicator of the vehicle is switched on in the appropriate direction depending on the steering wheel angle. It is also possible to integrate multiple models in this manner. For example, you can have an additional vehicle control model that limits the speed of the vehicle to a certain maximum value. This way, it is possible to include numerous different vehicle control algorithms into the CarMaker for Simulink environment. It is not only possible to include the models directly into the main Simulink model but it is also possible to reference external models. Extending the simulation model in CarMaker for Simulink typically involves integration of controller models like the one we saw. And the right location to integrate such control models is the vehicle control block. There are however a couple of exceptions. If you would like to integrate a brake control unit, you can use the template Hydraulic Brake Control Unit ESP model which is available in the CarMaker installation. This allows you to integrate your own ABS or ESP models. The other exception is if you would like to integrate a powertrain related control unit. In this case you can use the ptcontrol.mdl. 
There are also a few important guidelines regarding replacing CarMaker models. Never delete one of the CarMaker blocks, just terminate the output. Provide all the signals that the CarMaker model delivers to the bus. You can find more information on the required interface signals for each model class in the reference manual. You can also use the product examples user brake.mdl, user steer.mdl, user powertrain.mdl and user tire.mdl for implementing the respective subsystems. To replace the entire CarMaker vehicle model, please refer the generic underscore user vehicle.mdl model. In certain cases, it may be necessary to disable the internal model selection in CarMaker. This can be done by setting the model selection in the vehicle GUI to model manager off.